I don't think I was put on this earth just to sing. Me. I want to be a wife. I want to be a mum. What was your approach to your character? From which point you wanted to show him to the viewers that know the history from the tabloids, from the TV news and stuff? I guess uh, just just the very fact that because we're not like tabloids or you know it's not like a a, a press run, um, you know it, we we have a chance to just sort of be a bit more uh, in depth, um, you know, and, and just spend a bit more time with 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 getting into the the, the ins and outs. Uh, there's obviously the version that's out there, um, but I think look. A Amy Winehouse was like she was fiercely unique and herself. And I don't think anyone was ever gonna walk all over her. Um so there had to there had to be something. There had to be something that 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 wasn't necessarily out there in the uh, public domain. Um and that's what the our script gave us a chance to do. That's what Sam gave me the chance to do. That's what my meeting with Blake informed me. Uh, I found him to be very sincere, very honest, especially when he spoke about Amy. And so that's that's what I wanted to bring across. Yeah, because he's not a dark character in this history. You you guys are showing that they are both clashes and the meeting of them was the something disastrous from for both of them. And I think that's fantastic that's showing few points of view, not only the one that all the fans have in their heads. Yeah, there's an easy narrative out there, like an easy one. But I think the the reality ha has to be more nuanced. You know, people are complex. So um, that's that's what we aim to do. And I'm curious that your meeting with Blake give you some more insight than the script that you received, or it was only additional to understand him? I think just just the latter, really. I didn't go there to study him. I, I just wanted to uh, to meet him as a courtesy and just say, uh, look, um, no no one is is trying to um, unearth anything scandalous or negative, uh, and I just wanted to put that across to him. And then by virtue of the time that we spent together, uh, things were coming across to me uh, that that informed my portrayal of him. I'm curious if anybody from the viewers would ask you what this movie is about. What would you think? I just think it's uh, it's it's our attempt at um, portraying her story through her eyes, being guided by her lyrics, mainly. I mean, I think I think the the script was written um, with with her song lyrics as a as a major reference. So that's what we were trying to do here. And I think Maurice's uh, Maurice's portrayal of her is spellbinding. Um and it was it was it was a massive thrill to me on on set just watching her go about her work and you know play playing off that was uh, a real buzz. From because from my point of view, this movie is about loneliness and that the, even the biggest, I don't know, money in the world and fame in the world will not fill the void in your heart if you don't have the second person to walk through life with. And I think this movie is mainly about that. It, you could put any other character in the front of it and the result would be probably the same. Listen, I think that's a really beautiful takeaway from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you say, people are complex. This story is complex. Um, you know, so it was important that we weren't two-dimensional, I think. And I, I don't think we can be, be accused of being two-dimensional at all. And my last question, I'm curious, when you see, see when you saw your uh, co-star, you know, dressed up and with the tattoos, what was your fir first reaction when you saw the metamorphose on the set? Yeah, uh, it was, was um, it was insane. Uh, so obviously, look, there's a, a ton of people that deserve credit for that. I mean, no one uh, more so than Marisa. But I think just just hearing her vocals for the first time was like one one of my favorite memories of this of this job. Um, 
you know, it was it, that that was massively thrilling to just hear that the, the work that she had put in had paid off in such a way um, that we could we could make this uh, movie u- using Marisa's uh, vocals as as Amy Winehouse was, uh, as you can imagine, was was a massive thrill. And you could sing too over there, a little part, but you could. <laughs> no, I think I'm just lip syncing. <laughs> really? <laughs> Not the same, man. <laughs> so. 